Hey everyone, Cody here, and today I want to show you a trick on how you can get more art sales through social media without really doing any more work than what you would normally do if you were posting that art on social media. So the, I'm basically going to show you how you can take a post that you put on social media on a specific one and branch that out so that you actually, it branches out and gets you more traffic without you sitting there and having to do it um, by hand. And I'm also going to show you another way that you can actually get more traffic with one specific social media site very easily. Um, you could also have other people do it for you, or you could just do it if you have a few seconds. It, it only takes a few seconds, but I'm gonna show you how to do that. Um, there's not gonna be a painting in this video today. Uh, so in the next video that you see on this channel, there will be a painting, so we'll do another painting. So without further ado, I'm gonna switch over to my computer so I can show you that, that trick basically to be able to get more traffic through social media without having to do a whole lot of extra work. You can actually literally just post on one one specific social media site, uh, one of a couple, and then that will actually get you more traffic on other social media sites without you having to sit there and do it by hand. So I'm gonna head over and I'm gonna show you that right now, so let's head over. Okay, so we're at the computer. Let's talk about how you can get more traffic, well, more visitors either to your website or to your social media pages with um, using social media, but also not doing as much work to get that traffic. Um, it's based, it's going to be based around one specific tool and the tool is called if then this, that, or I F T T T. So if you've heard of it, this video may not be that much of use to you, but you could still watch it. Um, if you've never heard of it, this tool is free and it's phenomenal because it, it just, it, it makes, it basically allows you to distribute content at scale without having to actually sit there and post it to each content network. So essentially what I do is I will take a video or a post on Instagram and then shotgun that out to uh, Twitter, Facebook, and Pinterest. So Twitter, Facebook, and Pinterest are the three biggest traffic sources for me. Um, obviously aside from YouTube and Instagram themselves. So what I like to do is I use YouTube and Instagram to post the content. So either video content like this one or pictures of the paintings or the process, whatever. I will use Instagram or YouTube to create the content. And then that content gets distributed at scale without me really having to post to these other sites like Twitter, Facebook, and Pinterest because of this one tool. So essentially what if then this that is, if you've never used it, um, if this then that, sorry, if this then that, basically if this happens, then it, then the, the applets is what they're called, will go into effect and they do this other thing in response. So for example, you can kind of see the ones that I use because they're all lit up. And a lot of them have to do with Instagram, um, or YouTube and that's really it so essentially what happens is you create you set up applets um, and you can explore them uh, or you can just kind of search and you basically put in what two services you want to connect okay so essentially like this so tweet your Instagrams as native photos on Twitter so if we come to my Twitter you can see that this is this is an example of that so I posted this photo right here on Instagram. I didn't post it directly to, to Twitter. I posted it to Instagram. This is the post here, right? So this is the post. And then when it got posted to Instagram, because there's an applet active in IFTTT, when it went to Instagram, it then went to Twitter as well. So it it basically allows me to just post to one place and then it gets distributed to other networks. And then the same is true for Facebook. So you can kind of see these, all these posts on Facebook are not me posting, it's Facebook taking that content um, and posting it from IFTTT. So this is a this is another photo. You can see that it's, that photo's here on Instagram. And then it got pushed to Twitter uh, this photo got pushed to Facebook and then also Pinterest. So I don't post these these to Pinterest myself 
I they're posted from IFTTT. So basically, I post one place either on you know a video on YouTube or a painting picture on Instagram, and then they get branched out for me through Twitter, Facebook, and Pinterest. And these are just these are huge. I mean, this is where a lot of the traffic is from is Facebook, Twitter, and Pinterest, and Look, guys, there's so much competition out there, and these websites are always constantly changing their algorithms on how people find content, and if they're going to favor ads, okay? They're going to favor promoted content because that's how they make money, but you can still get traffic from these, these platforms. You just have to kind of you have to put more content out there, unfortunately. And it, yes, it creates a little more noise by creating more content. If everybody creates more content, it creates more noise. Yeah, that's going to happen. But th there's really no, there's not really another way around it, guys. You have to create the content and get it out there to get sales or traffic to your website or whatever. So this is what we're going to do. So we've got, so let's, let's explain kind of how this works. Um, and I'm going to show you um the i'm going to show you kind of the hashtags because this this photo got distributed so we're going to use that as our example so let's see okay so here it is on twitter here it is on facebook and then here let me go back and i'll find it on pinterest so you can kind of see how i do this so we'll click on that all right so here we go how does this work so Let's use the example of the Instagram. Well, I also posted a Tumblr, but Tumblr's kind of dead now. You can still get traffic from it, but I, I really don't. They, they've kind of passed away. Um, all right, so let's use Instagram for now and kind of talk about that. So w when you search, you would just search Instagram and then uh, Pinterest. You would search that in this little search box, and then it will give you a bunch of different results. I like to use the ones that are that are by the actual companies themselves um, because they're almost guaranteed to work. Um, now, here's the thing with IFTTT: you can you could create your own applets. You can create them and put them out there for other people. So that's why there's like these just regular weird names because people are putting these out there for you. Like they're making their own little applets. You can make your own too. I don't worry about all that. I don't have time. So what I do is I just choose the ones that are pretty much by the companies themselves so I know that I'm getting the legit ones that are going to work. Um, so you would choose the one that you want. So this is one that we would use, Instagram to Pinterest. So it's basically you're going to sync up Instagram to Twitter, Facebook, and Pinterest, and then you're going to do the same thing for YouTube, Twitter, Instagram, oh, sorry, Twitter, Facebook, and Pinterest. So you would just basically link the, the, these two, Instagram and, and YouTube, with these three. And that's it. That's all you have to do. So you'd essentially have six of them. Um, I have a couple more just because um, I was trying out some other traffic sources and stuff. But uh, you would need at least those six. Now, you're welcome to look at other ones and stuff like that. But, you know, those are the ones that I do. Okay. So now let's talk about how, how you do this. So here's what I do. Let's say I chose um, this one right here by Pinterest. Okay, automatically pin your Instagrams to a board when you use a specific hashtag. I like this one, this specific one by Pinterest because the other one that we just saw where it tweets your Instagrams right to Pinterest, it's gonna do all of them and we don't wanna do all of them. I just wanna do the ones where I tag them with a specific hashtag because maybe I, maybe I post um, like I do my own where it's like a personal photo and I don't want to put, I just want that on Instagram. I don't want that on all my other social media sites. Not that I wouldn't necessarily want a, a personal one on there, but you know, if you're, if you're doing business stuff, you really only just want your business stuff out there. So maybe I want to put the picture on Instagram, but I don't want it all the way on the other social media sites. So I'll just, uh, I'll do this one so that I can just not put that hashtag in there. So it's super easy. So you can find this one, you can even search for it word to word, but you basically do Instagram um, to Pinterest, and then you would look for this one that says it's from Pinterest. So we're gonna choose that one, and what you'll do is you turn it on, you just you just do connected. So when you first create your account on IFTTT, 
um, it'll have you log into your other social media accounts to lo like to link them to your account. So you just log into them one time each to authorize them, and then they're linked to it. And if you're afraid of other companies, you know, logging into your accounts, then don't do it by all means. But I really, if if someone's gonna steal my stuff, then they're gonna steal it. Like I may as well get some use out of this. So, um, anyway, here's what we do. So you turn it on and when you go in and turn this on, it's uh, it's basically going to ask you to choose the hashtag. So I think it's not gonna show me because I already have it connected and I don't wanna turn it off and then turn it back on because sometimes that creates issues. But essentially, uh, you know what we'll do is we'll search for, we'll search for the same thing. So let's do Instagram, uh, I spelled that wrong, Instagram to Pinterest. So let's see if we can find another, actually, let's go ahead and look at Instagrams real quick. Okay, yeah, so that's just, uh, that's just those ones. So let's type in hash tag. Okay, so, okay, so this one actually does Instagram to Twitter and Pinterest together, so you can do that. Okay, so you could do this one, um, Instagram video to Pinterest. That's pretty cool. Actually, uh, let's try this one and see this person. Okay, so to a vote, let's connect and see if it asks. Oh, it doesn't even ask. Okay, so kind of not finding the right thing right now. Uh, let me go back and try a different one real quick and see if it, come on. Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. Right. Okay. Um, well, this is not, uh, this isn't working out for me. Let's see if this one, no. Okay. Settings? No. Guys, I feel terrible that this is not giving what I want. Let's try this one to do settings and see if it feels the same. There it is. Okay, cool. All right, so automatically pin. So going into the settings, I can. I found. I, I'm guessing they changed their layout because you used to be able to just click on it and it would show you the settings. Here we go. So here we are in the settings of it. So it, generally when you set these up, they'll ask you these questions. So if it doesn't, then you can go into settings and change it. Um, but this is what we're looking for. So now it's asking, uh, don't want all of your Instas going to Pinterest. And this is exactly what I was talking about. Like we want the one with the hashtag because then we can choose which ones go. So what, when you first set this up or if you go into the settings afterwards, if it just connects, um, you can choose the hashtag. So my hashtag is just my name. Cody Schwabi. Now you, this could be anything. You could do hashtag baloney, you know, <laughs> or if it's art and maybe you just want an art, you want to do hashtag art, whatever, right? And so having this hashtag in here, whenever you use it on Instagram, it will post that content to Pinterest because that's what this one does. And then you enter the board and it will add it to that board. Now it says that if if it can't be found, it'll create a new one, but I've had issues with that. So I generally just go in and create a board on Pinterest. So this one is Cody Schwabi Abstract Art, and then I just use that one. So I, I would say to be on the safe side, go ahead and create the board and then just put the name of it in here because uh, it's gonna be connected to your account. And then this hashtag. So now when we go back and we look at this post, my name is in there. So that's a hashtag that I used and it showed up right here on Twitter and then Pinterest um, and Facebook. So Pinterest was right here. And if you go in, it's just gonna use the same description from Instagram and there it is. So CodySchwabi.com or hashtag CodySchwabi there. And then same thing for Facebook. So it's gonna take, what it's gonna do is it's gonna post that picture and then take the description you put on there and it's gonna post it to the social media sites and all that. So a couple of recommendations. One, I would keep your description short on Instagram when you do this um, because whenever it gets moved over to those other social media sites because they all have different limits on characters, it might get cut off. So I tend to just try to keep my description short um, and I use the hashtag as the first hashtag so I know that it's gonna get hit and then uh, I'm gonna take it over to those other sites. So, um, 
The other hashtag I've used, it was pinworthy. So that's, you know, just something, it's, a, it's my own hashtag that I used that when it was, when I was using that, it would post to, uh, you know, Pinterest. So that's how you do that for Instagram. It's, it's literally the same thing for all of them. So you would just go back and then you would have, um, you know, Instagram to Tumblr or your Instagrams as native photos to Twitter. So same thing, we go into settings and actually Twitter's a little different because this Twitter just posts all of your Instagram photos as Twitter photos. So again, there might be one for a hashtag. I just use the one where it just puts it right on there. Um, and then lastly, the same thing for Facebook. Um, when I upload to Instagram, uh, within Instagram, actually within Instagram itself, I have my Instagram linked up to Facebook. And that's something you actually would do inside Instagram. So you would go into your profile and then it would ask you what social media accounts you want to link up to. So you can just actually just link to Facebook directly from that. So you don't have to use uh, if this, then that for for Instagram to Facebook because that one will actually go directly. But there might be, there might also be an applet for it. I just don't need both because I already have them linked. Okay, so that's what you do for Instagram. And then same thing for YouTube, guys. Same exact thing. YouTube video to Twitter, YouTube to Pinterest, and then um, automatically share your YouTube uploads to a Facebook page. And then I also, again, use Tumblr and Blogger, but they just almost get no views so i have them linked up just for extra free traffic but i don't almost do nothing with it but it's going to be the same thing guys so you would just link uh it may ask for the pinterest um i mean the hashtag sorry um but it, i don't think it does i think it just links up that account so again you just go in and you just find these applets and you link them so youtube to pinterest and look like i said you can make your own so i set these ones up you can see my name here um, so I set these up. So basically, again, you just choose the two applets you want. When you search, you just put in the two uh, services you want to try to connect and it will, you know, if there's an applet there, you can. And then if there's not, you can try to make one. So that's really it guys that this, this is all I do. I just have my YouTube and Twitter or sorry, YouTube and Instagram hooked up to Twitter, Facebook, and Pinterest through if this, then that, um, and then every time I post on either one of these, uh, it goes to these sites for me. So I'm getting free traffic, even if it's not a lot of free traffic, it's free traffic. I mean, you're not doing anything to get this. You're not doing anything extra to get this traffic because this is doing a lot of the heavy lifting. Um, so that's really it, guys. That is how you can kind of branch your content out and get more traffic from social media without doing a lot more extra work. So you can just post to YouTube or Instagram, whatever you use, and then have it, you know, blast out to Twitter, to your Facebook page, and to a Pinterest board. And that's it. That's all you have to do to get some extra free traffic. Now, I talked about another way that you could get some really easy traffic with very little work. Um, Pinterest is a gold mine. Pinterest gets a lot of traffic, a lot. Um, it's very visual. So if you're an artist, you know, it's great because you can post a lot of great photos on, on Instagram and have them go to, uh, you know, to Pinterest. Uh, so Pinterest is really good for Instagram because it's visual, right? And if you don't know what to put on, um, say if you're an artist and you don't really know what to post, you're overthinking it. So you can post pictures of the process. You can post pictures of close-ups. You could go do pictures of, you know, the finished product. Um, there's a couple of people I follow. So let me show you just some examples of some successful artists on here. This guy just does a picture of it with a, a gray background. He does it literally for every photo. And so this guy, and he gets, he has thousands of followers. I mean, look, 75,000. Um, and then there's another lady that I follow that is pretty successful on here. She sells a lot of art. Um, and look, she just, she shows the brushes. She shows close-ups. She shows, you know, finished products. And she's got 200,000 followers. So, and and a lot of their followers are genuine. They're not bots. I mean, I'm, you're always going to have that. But my point is, is that, you know, they just show the process. Like, you don't have to overthink it. Just get the content out there. You know, if you've ever heard Gary V, Gary V is so on top of this because he knows that people are just, 
not taking action. It's like this video, you know, I debated whether I should do it, but it's going to help somebody. I can almost guarantee it. So my point is, is just get the content out there. Okay. Do the best you can, but don't overthink it. Just put the content out there and let the market decide whether or not it's good or not. So anyway, let's go back to what I was talking about for the, the quick, easy, free traffic. Okay. So if you have a website or no matter where you have your content posted, like maybe you sell on some other website that's not yours. Maybe you just have Instagram, so you just sell through Instagram and you know have people PayPal you money, whatever. I know people who do that. Um, doesn't matter if, if you just if you don't have a website, then you don't have to worry about this part. You can just follow what I talked about already with social media. But if you do have a website, you can get this Pinterest Chrome extension. Okay. And it's literally, I, I don't even remember, it's like save to Pinterest or something like that. And you would just do uh, Chrome extension Pinterest. And I probably didn't spell something right. Oh, I did. Wow. Okay. So, yeah, the Pinterest save button. And it's Pinterest official thing. And then you can add to Chrome. You can see that I already have it. That's why it's server remove. But this, I love this plugin. Because if I post on my site and I can't do the same things like I did, like where I branch it out and have it go to all the other ones, um, I can save. You can see that when I hover over an image, I can save it right from here. So essentially what I can do is um, once you have that logged in, you can click on an image and it will give you the option to save it uh, right to Pinterest. So like I could just save it right here to Cody Schwabi Abstract Art and boom, it's done. I can either promote it, I can see it now, or I can just exit out. And now if I go to Pinterest and I refresh, it should be there. There it is. You see how easy that was? Just because I had that one plugin. So you can literally do this with your own website. Go through all of your uh, all of your listings of products, whether it's on Etsy, whether it's on, you know, Saatchi or your own website, whatever. You literally just go through and you can hover on an image and save it. Or you can right click and save as well. So it's another super easy, easy way to get free traffic from Pinterest. I'm not even kidding, guys. Like this traffic is actually really easy to get if you kind of know what you're doing. And I just know that there's a lot of people who probably sell products or sell art or, you know, sell some kind of product. And you really don't know how to get traffic from social media, this is how you do it. This is a really super easy way. So you just post pictures on Instagram, or if you do videos, you just do videos on YouTube, but you link up all those accounts through uh, if this, then that, or you link it up directly from Instagram to those social media accounts, and then you just start posting. And I would say, I'm not saying to post junk or anything, but you just need to stop overthinking it and get that content out there. But uh, that's pretty much it, guys. I really hope that this video was valuable to you. If it was, please like, you know, all this stuff comment let me know in the comment section you know if you found this useful because anybody who is trying to sell this stuff you know i i think that this might hopefully help you and obviously things change all the time you know with algorithms and the way things work and you know maybe if this then that won't always be free i don't know but for now it works so you may as well use it and uh yeah that's it guys i will catch you guys in the next video and it will be a painted video okay bye guys